Good evening, Maylin. Good evening, Luis. Uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening. How have you been doing today? Uh, very good, thank you. Nice. It's nice to hear that. Do you try to get your certificate today? Uh, no, uh, no, I don't uh, uh, review the platform. Okay. Uh, what about you, Maylin? Have you tried to get the certificate or to download it? Yes, teacher, but I can. It's uh, the same. The same thing. Uh, well, did you try in the afternoon or it was in the morning? I try in this moment and I can. Okay, I'm going to, um, yes, I reported it in the morning and they told me that they were going to check on that. So I'm going to remind them, yes, uh, yeah, tomorrow, I'm sorry, <laughs> this is not me. Well, I'm going to remind them tomorrow. And if you can write on the WhatsApp group tomorrow in the morning to report the problem, please go ahead and do it. Uh, sometimes it's better when you report your issues. Thanks, teacher. I report tomorrow. Thank you so much for trying. Um, well, we are, uh, I think that that is after this class, just three more and we're going to be done with this course. So I hope that you have completed the platform. If not, let us know if you are having issues with any exercise so we can help you out with that. Uh, teacher, I finished the platform. Okay. But at this moment, uh, I see and don't have a, a certificate. Oh, you cannot see the certificate. Did you click on progress and no button showing to get the certificate? Yes. Okay. Um, and my progress is in uh, 90, 98%. 98, okay, that's fine because yes, the minimum required is um, 80%. Yes, and you have more than the minimum. So everything should be um, updated with your uh, certificate. But yes, I'm going to write on the chat tomorrow in the morning and maybe you can do the same because I reported today and they told me that they were going to check. Um, okay. okay. All right, so yesterday we were talking about if our conditional clauses the first type of a conditional so we were practicing with that. So for today, I think that we are going to wrap up that topic and move along with the next section. And let me see uh yeah okay this is the last exercise that we did yesterday we were talking about um conditionals and after that to finish with section number four we have our reading exercise okay so in this reading exercise we're going to read and then we are going to complete part A and B. I'm going to start reading. And when I get tired of reading, I'm going to ask for you to continue. So please um, pay attention. <laughs> okay, are you in love? What is the difference between having a crush on someone falling in love? You think you're falling in love? You're really attracted to a certain person, but this has happened before, and it was just a crush. Maylin? Maylin, can you continue? Joanna? Are you there? This teacher, is sorry, it's a mute. <laughs> um, and you, uh, you feel yourself ring? Okay, uh-huh. I finish here when it says it's ah. just a crush. How? How can you tell is, is really this time? Here's what, what or reading say is you are falling in love. You find yourself 
talking to calling or texting the personal for um, no reason. You can meet pretend that there is a reason, but often shares not. You can pass the ball to someone else. Meaning? Yes, teacher. Okay, who do you pass the ball to continue reading? Um, you find yourself. Uh, select. Uh -huh. yeah, you can select someone else. Select ah. someone else para que continue. Um, uh, Luis Diaz. Okay, Luis. Okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, where do you finish? Okay. You'll find yourself bringing this person into every conversation. When I was in Mexico, a friend begins. You uh, interrupt. Interrupt with, no, my boyfriend and made a great Mexican dinner last week. Okay, you can pass the ball now. David? Okay, David. Mm, okay. You might suddenly be interested in things you used to avoid. When a woman asks me to tell her about football, I know she's falling in love, said a TV sport announcer. Okay, good. Select someone else. Okay, let me check. Um, Byron. Hi. It's on. Here. Do you mind? So, okay. Oh. Okay. So you you have falling in love, but falling in love it's one thing, and staying in love it's another. How can you tell as time pass that you? that you are still in love. Okay, pass the ball. Okay. Andrea. Okay. If you stay in love, your relationship will change. You might not talk as much about the person you are in love with. You may not call him or her so often but this person will never never less, uh, become more and more important in your life okay good andrea thank you select someone else no puedo ver a los demás where it says participant donde dice participant you can click and okay jesus jesus wants to continue ah okay 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 you feel that you can be yourself with the with this person when you first fell in love you were probably afraid to admit certain things certain things about yourself but but now you can be totally totally honest you can cross him or her to accept you you just uh you are falling in love is great Staying in love is even better. Okay, thank you so much. Now, um, let's see. I see that you did a very good job. Just remember this word is might. Might. Uh huh. So the pronunciation here is might. And uh, I think that's the only one that I hear. Okay, do you have any questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? What, uh, how is the pronunciation nevertheless? Nevertheless, como con de, nevertheless. 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 Yes. Never, never never. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Any other question? Any other question? Okay, now 
where do you think this um, this article comes from? Do you think it's from an online news service, from a magazine, an advice column, or an advertisement? Where do you think that this article comes from? Check here, an online news service, a magazine, an advice column, or an advertisement. Maybe a magazine. Yes, I do think the same. I think uh, it comes from a magazine. Very good, thank you so much. Now, do you recall what things happen when you're falling in love compared with staying in love? We're going to complete the chart here. Um, you can do it in your notebook. Uh, write the things that um, happen when you fall in love. And here you can write the things that happens when staying in love. I'll give you a couple of minutes. And if you need to read the article again, of course, you can go ahead and do it. Okay, uh, volunteer to read things that happen when you're falling in love. 
Me teacher. Okay, thank you. <laughs> when you fall in love, you think about him or her all day. Okay. Thank and you so much. Okay, what else? When you're falling in love, just staying always with her or him. Okay, good. Anything else that you would like to add? Okay, Only. thank you so much. <laughs> uh, uh, any other okay. volunteer? When you're falling in love, you feel yourself bringing this person in every conversation. Uh-huh. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, what else? Is she missing one? I think three, it's okay. All right, now staying in love. What do you get there? Staying in love? Me, teacher. Okay, excellent. Okay, they say you know that relationship will change. Okay, thank you so much. Anything else? Byron? Staying in love, you can feel more comfortable with the person that you are sharing all the things that you have ensured when you are starting to be in love. Aha, uh -huh. very nice. Anybody else has something here? Anything different, something that you added? The article say when you stay in love, it's ever better. Yeah, it's even better, yes. Um, okay, so, uh, I see that you did a very nice job. What you can do with this type of reading, this reading is in the platform. I think that probably may look kind of different on the platform, but it is the same. What you can do because yeah, it is important and sometimes it is part of, uh, of a recruitment process. They ask for you to read an article, to record you reading the article and then you send the recording or some tests include that. What you can do is to listen um, readings like this one, you have the platform, you can use it. You can use it to steal and maybe after the course you will be able to. So uh, what you can do is to play the recording, stop it and, and divide the, the reading into chunks, right? Try to repeat those little chunks they are pieces right so divide those pieces and try to repeat and then um you can read the whole thing with um uh, with more and you will sound more fluent that's just an advice or something that you can put into practice but yeah you did a very good job i, I just heard a couple of words that was misspelled like for example might but that's it and um, nothing else to add good Okay, let's see. All right, with this reading, we are finishing the section number four and we're going to start section number five. And section number five, it says, I don't like working on weekends. Have you worked on weekends or do you work on weekends? Yes, I don't like it. <laughs> Both you days? Too. I don't like it. Oh, you too, Ruben. Yeah. Saturday and Sunday? Sometimes. Okay, sometimes, not always. What about well, you, every Byron? Month is for me. Every month changes. This month, it, my off, it's on Saturday. The next month, it's going to be on Sunday. So I have to work this month on Sunday only. Oh, yeah. Change. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think it's more difficult Sundays because, you know, you go and while you come in into work, you see that the streets are empty, people is sleeping yeah. at home, <laughs> and you are commuting to work. 
<laughs> it's a very yeah. sad thing. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> okay. Besides Ruben and Byron, is there uh, someone else who works on weekend? Sometimes no? I I have to work. Sometimes. Okay. How 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 frequent or how often do you work on um, weekends? Uh, twice a month. Twice a month. Yes. Okay. It's like um. Uh, yes. Uh, it's a lot. <laughs> yes, I. I feel you. Yes, it's not it's not something pleasant to work on, on weekends. But anyways, in, anybody else? Uh, in my case, I I like. You like it? Yes. I Why? Prefer, I prefer stay with my students at at being my home. Rather than being at home. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Um. I think that, yes, I have done that in the past. I used to teach in the academy on Saturday and Sundays, and it was okay. I really enjoyed it because it was just five hours. I didn't uh, spend the whole day there, and it was okay. But I do appreciate my weekends off now. <laughs> but if I had to teach again in the academy, I would do it. I'm ready. <laughs> but I think that's not going to happen soon. Yeah, this COVID, <laughs> right? But we are okay. Um, anybody else would like to participate with this? No. Only three or four knows what what does it feel like working on weekends? Okay, we have this snapshot and it says, "I hate working on weekends." we have eight important job skills. Here are some questions that employees might ask you um, about your skills. Uh, can you read the first one, Jenny? Can you read okay. the first question? Yes. Uh, can you use a computer? Good. Ruben, number two. With pleasure. Can you manage other people? Good. Mainly number three. Are you good at public speaking? Okay, public speaking, right? Uh, Jesus, number four. Can you teach other how to do the things? Things, okay. Byron, number five. Do you, can, oh, sorry. <laughs> Can you solve problems? Okay, Henry. Okay. Do you manage uh, money well? Okay, Jenny. Do you work well with people? Okay, Veronica. Uh, did you speak other language? Okay, nice. Thank you so much. Now, which of these skills do you think are most important and why? Uh, tell me at least two and explain why. I'll give you a couple of minutes for you to select two of them that you think that are the most important and the reason as to why.
volunteers. Me. Me okay. Teacher. Thank you. Um, I have the the three most important that I think. For example, can you solve problems? I think that is important because is the attitude attitude to the person to to help others. And in the same way, uh, for me, what do you work well with the, with people? Because sometimes some some person don't like to 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 work with others. And the last one, can you teach teach others how to do things? Because sometimes the person know how to do the things, but can explain how how help the another. That's okay, it. excellent, very good. Thank you so much for your participation. And we have Luis. Okay, teacher. For me, the number one is uh, uh, important. Can you use a computer? Because nowadays uh, the study and the work uh, is in home office for the virus. Uh, another uh, important for, important for me is do you speak other language? Because uh, in many jam is very important speak uh, other language, uh, principal English. And the last is very important, uh, can you manage other people? Because in, in all job, uh, you, uh, what, do, what do you say, uh, compartes. Share. Uh, share with other people. It's important uh, the relationship and the co-worker. Yes, indeed. Yes, very good point of view. Any other volunteer? The same teacher for me is it's important. Do you work well with people because uh, uh, the others employees employees speak good uh, at you and do you speak other language because uh, it's very important <laughs> okay thank you so much yeah, yes that is very important to um uh manage other people because yes you have to maintain um a good environment right a good atmosphere at work in order for you to be okay right it's not okay to work in a in a stressful atmosphere where where you can't get along with your co-workers that's a nightmare <laughs> okay anybody else would like to participate um, in my case, teacher, I, I, I can use the computer because all person in the office use the computer. Can you solve the problem and can you manage other people? Because it's important the three options um, for the work. Yes, and as the coworker was saying, it's very important to know how to use the computer nowadays because most of the jobs involve computers, right? Computer programs and those things, and mainly because we are being forced to continue working from home. And sometimes it's just you and some Google in the world. <laughs> yes. For yes. example, for me, I work in three days in home and two days in the the place uh, work. The office, on the workplace. Yes, okay. three days is home, is home, home, I don't know. Home office? Yes, home office. And two days is uh, the office. 
at the site, Present. okay, in the office building. Okay, so, and where do you feel better? Do you feel better at home or at the office? I feel better at home. I think it's more time for, for the work better because it's not interruptions. Uh, interruptions? Interruption the other people because in the house, I don't have a telephone. Oh, okay, good. Uh, so you can focus on other tasks. You can focus on other activities because you don't have to be answering the phone. Yes, and I is better because I solving the problems. Mm -hmm. Yes, it has advantages. Yeah, a lot of advantages working from home. But it's important to know how to use your tools, right? Since you will be alone at home. <laughs> yes. Um, anybody else would like to participate or to uh, express any comment about this? No? Okay, so we can move to the next slide. Now we have this conversation, it says, I need a job. We have this conversation on the platform, so we are going to listen to that and then we're going to practice it. Let me uh, share my screen. What is the platform? Oh, here. Okay. Wait and share some. Now let's move to section five. And it's getting slow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, we are in section five now. Well, we have this conversation, we're going to listen to it and then we're going to practice it. Let's see, this thing is so slow. Hi, thank you for joining us again. Ready to listen to the conversation? This time you will listen to job and job requirements as well as gerunds and short responses. Remember to always practice the conversations with a friend. I need a job. Part A. Listen and practice. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listed on the internet? How about this? A door-to-door -door salesperson to sell baby products. Like diapers and things? No thanks. And anyway, I'm not good at selling. Well, I am. I might check that one out. Oh, here's one for you. An assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I like traveling, and I've never been on a cruise ship. It says here you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's OK. I don't mind working long hours if the pay is good. What's the phone number? It's 555-3455. Five, 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 five. Part B. Listen to Brad call about the job. What else does the job require? Holiday Cruise Lines. Hello? I'm calling about the assistant entertainment director job that's advertised online. Is it still available? Yes, it is. There's just one thing we didn't mention in the advertisement. Do you speak any other languages? No, not really. Oh, we're really looking for someone who can speak at least one other language. We probably should have included that in the ad. I'm sorry. Okay, that's definitely they have should include that in the advertisement. <laughs> Okay, so uh, questions about this. Um, let me share my screen again so you can see the conversation as we have it in here. Okay. Can you still see my screen? Yes, yes teacher. Yeah. Okay. Questions about this conversation, vocabulary, grammar, pronunciation. 
we are going to practice pronunciation as well. Okay, uh, let me share again. Okay. Right, so I'm going to play the recording and I'm going to break it into chunks. Edmonds, I'm going to stop in every uh, period that I see. I'm do my best. <laughs> my eyes are killing me. Um, so for example, here when it says, I'm so broke, I'm going to stop here and you will repeat, okay? And so on. Let me see, am I sharing sound? Yes. Okay. Unit 10. I hate working on weekends. Page 64, exercise 2. Conversation. I need a job. Part A. Listen and practice. I'm so broke. 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 Excellent. Good intonation. <laughs> we are usually <laughs> sound like that, right? I'm so broke. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we believe this word. <laughs> yes. You feel it in the heart. <laughs> I feel it in heart. Okay. Let's continue. I really need to find a job. I really need. I really, I really need, need to, to find a job. So do I. So do I. So do I. Uh -huh. So do I. So do I. So do I. Do you see anything good listed? Did you, do you see, see anything, anything good listed? Listen. How about this telephone sales job? How about sales job? Okay, let's put that together. How about? 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 How about this telephone sales job? How about this telephone sales job? You call people and try to sell them magazines? You call people and try to sell them. That sounds boring. That sounds boring. That sounds boring. That sounds boring. Okay, it sounds. That sounds boring. 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 And anyway, I'm. I'm not very good at selling. And anyway, I'm not very good at selling. Okay, let's repeat that part. And anyway, I'm not very good at selling. And anyway, I'm not very good at selling. Well, I am. 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 I might check that one out. I might, I might check, check that one out. 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 I might check that one out. Which is the meaning, teacher? That one out. Yes, es como decir, debería, yo debería chequear esa. Ah, okay, okay. I might check that one out. I might I might check out. Oh, here's one for you. Oh, here's one for you. Oh, here's one for you. Excellent. Oh, here's one for you. Oh, here's one for you. Oh, here's one for you. An assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. And 
on the beach. That sounds like fun. That sounds that sounds like like fun. fun. That sounds like fun. I love traveling. I love, I love traveling. traveling. I love traveling. I love and traveling. I've never been on a cruise ship. And I've never, never been, been on a cruise ship. ship. Never been on a cruise ship. It says here you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. It says here you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours if the pay is good. I don't mind working long hours if the pay is good. Okay. 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 I think I'll apply for it. I think I'll apply for it. I think I'll apply for it. I think I'll I think I'll apply for it. I think I'll apply for it. I think I'll apply for it. Okay, questions before I create the section groups. Okay, so. Okay, I'm going to create the breakout room so for you to practice with your classmate. And if you have any question after you have practiced, you can go ahead and ask them. Let's see, three to four. Okay, here we go.
Okay, I see that everybody is here back again. So, uh, yeah, I have received um, what well, I tested on the group that we have with the people from administration and I uh, reminded them and I let them know that you are able to download your certificate still at this point. So they told me that they will check back again in the morning. But yes, yeah, try to um, maybe by noon, you can try to see if that's working, if you have completed the 80% or more than that on the platform, you should be able to download their certificate. If that is not the case, you can write to the chat that we have so that they uh, keep an eye on that. Okay, thank you. All right, so uh, now that you practice, is there any question? No. No questions? Uh, have, you, uh, have you thought in any topic that you would like to review? We are going to finish section five tomorrow. And then on Monday, we're going to go through the final exam to see if there is any exercise that is troubling you. And we're going to make a final review on Tuesday, which is the last day of classes. But I would like for you to tell me which topics would you like to review? We're going to make a review and I don't want to uh, invent the topics. No, I like this topic and I'm going to write <laughs> I think one of them it's like for the main clause, I think clauses, or if you, and I will, is the one that it start. I think we saw yesterday. Oh yes, the first conditionals, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, we're going to make a recap on that and also bring more exercises. Anything else? Fisher, um, Cruz. It's a correct pronunciation. Cruz? Yes, Cruz. 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 Uh, Cruz. Cruz. Yes, Cruz. 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 Not like very pronounced S, it's like Cruz. Yeah. Cruz. Oh, okay. Thank you. Cruz. 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 Okay, we review uh, Top slides, how we can use so why, so am I, so can I. Ah, yes, sure. We can definitely go through that topic. That is a good one okay. because it is very useful. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we have two topics to review. Good. <laughs> so, um, yeah. clauses Close. and Jaron. Okay, Jaron. Um, All right. Yarns, yes. There is uh, a related topic using yarns uh, to talk about uh, skills that we can put into practice at work. So I can take that topic for you using yarns. The, uh, how this is called, the tag questions or and answers. So we're going to practice that. Mm -hmm. Thank you so it's much. A, I have a question. When you use so do I, so do I. Okay, I'll give you a brief explanation about that. Let me share my screen. Um, where was it? Oh, here it is. In this case, okay. Let me make it bigger. Brad says, so do I. Okay, then, the so do I is like, uh, is similar when you say me too. Yes, like me too can be the wild card. It can say me too with where, with any auxiliary, with any verb, but this um, has a specific rule. Um, eh, como decíamos, el decir me too es como, lo puede usar con cualquiera auxiliar sin complicarse, ¿verdad? En este caso, el so do I significa lo mismo. Es como decir yo también. Es para expresar agreement. De acuerdo, yo también. Uh, so it says, I'm so broke, I really need to find a job. So do I. Estoy diciendo yo también. 
por qué so do I, and some others is like um, your classmate says, so can I, so I am, so am I. Neither, neither mm -hmm. do I. Either and neither, yes. So eh, es un tema que bien podemos pasar una clase con eso. Yes, yes, but we're going to make a review on that. Voy a tratar de incluirlo yes, para, para mañana, probablemente, porque si sí, ya tenemos pocos ejercicios para mañana, yo creo que los alcanzamos a cubrir y empezar este topic para explicarle bien y que pues lo puedan usar sin ningún problema. Es, es bien importante. Y los germs, creo que they, they can go together. And if we don't finish, we still have time next week. Okay, so... Thank you so much for bringing that to my attention. So I'm going to work on that and prepare a presentation for you. Okay, so here we have the right job. I think that we can start this exercise. Okay, how do you feel about, and you have, um, Gerunds here, why? Why do we have gerunds here asking for help using a computer? Do you remember? Can you tell me why are we using gerunds in this exercise? I say, how do you feel about asking for help? Then you remember? No. Okay, I'll give you a clue. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about asking for help? That is the clue. Yes. <laughs> My pronunciation. <laughs> How do you feel about it? Is uh -huh. the first presentation. What is it now? The current now. Mm, okay. About is like preposition, and remember that after a, a preposition, yeah, about is a preposition. Yeah, that's yeah. why. That's why. Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> now, um, let's repeat. How do you feel about asking for help? How do you? How do you feel about feel asking about for help? Okay. Computer. One more time. How do you feel how about you asking feel? for help? How do you feel about asking for help? Okay, good. Help. 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 Ajá, tenemos que cerrar ahí help, porque si no suena a otra cosa. Help. Go to help. 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 Yes. You don't want to go help. What is the help? Okay. Nobody wants to know. Let us repeat. <laughs> no, nobody wants to know. How do you feel about asking for help? How do you feel about asking for help? How do you feel about using a computer? How do you feel about using a computer? How do you feel about leading a team? How do you feel about leading a team? Team. <laughs> Leading a team. Leading a team. How do you feel about traveling? How do you feel about traveling? I enjoy it. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> okay. Uh, how do you feel about creating a spreadsheet? How do you feel about creating a spreadsheet? How do you feel about talking on the phone? How do you feel about working with people? How do you feel about working with people? How do you feel about meeting deadlines? How do you feel about meeting deadlines? How do you feel about working on weekend? How do you feel about working on the weekend? How do you feel about managing money? How do you feel about managing money? How do you feel about telling people what to do? 
How do you feel about How do you feel about working with numbers? I hate it. <laughs> I enjoy it. it How do you it. feel about public speaking? How do you feel about public speaking? Okay, is there new vocabulary for you here in this um, slide? Spreadsheets. Okay, spreadsheets on uh, hojas de Excel. Oh. Mm -hmm. Line. <laughs> The deadline the es como el, ay, ¿cómo le dicen? El límite de tiempo. El límite de tiempo, ajá. Trabajando con límite de tiempo. Fechas límites. Yeah, yes, fechas límites, como entregar reportes tal fecha para medianoche como límite. Meeting deadline. For yesterday. <laughs> yes, for yesterday. <laughs> Managing. Okay. Managing is like, uh, viene de lidiar, manejar. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. um, manejar them. dinero. Es cumpliendo, cumpliendo líneas, cumpliendo, ay, ¿cómo se llama? Gestionando. No, 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 deadline. El Byron lo dijo. Límite de tiempo. Límite de tiempo. Mm -hmm. Plazos, cumpliendo plazos. Plazos, cumpliendo plazos, yes. Plazos de tiempo. Ok, so, uh, esto, bueno, ya que tienen claro el vocabulario, ya practicamos pronunciación. Mañana vamos a trabajar esto en parejas. It's like a speaking activities. You will ask your classmates how does he or she feels about this and you're going to check his or her answers. So, thank you. What uh, we're going to do tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Yes. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.